Well, good day, Max here from Swan Valley Machine Shop in Western Australia. Some time ago, um, the chap in America, Jim Enos, Tangent Engineering, sent us over a couple of hand wheels to test out. Now, these are the wheel wheels in Tangent Engineering. So, he sent me one for the little mini mill, mini mill that I have, and one for the bridge port behind us. So, we're going to give them a good workout. We're doing a, a lot of holes at the moment, uh, a drilling operation in the mini mill, so that'll be a good test out for that. And then we have a couple of operations to do in the bridge port, so we'll, we'll test that one out. So hopefully they'll um, prove to be as good as what I've heard they are, so we'll see how they go. So what I found advantageous with this style of wheel over the original three handle style was I could be concentrating on my work and I'm not reaching around searching for one of the um, handles to grab hold of. So wherever I go, my hand just automatically goes there, finds its right position where it wants to be. It just becomes second nature and um, makes the machine really nice to operate. Plus, if you inadvertently let go of the quill, it's, you haven't got a lever that's going to come around and smack you. <laughs> so that's another thing for it, another plus. That, uh, you get really good feel and control over it, i found. Um, I'm in the process of drilling a, a couple of hundred holes through some plates. So that's going to give it a good workout, and so far it's performing very well. So we're drilling, um, we've got 15.5 millimeter drilling here at the moment. So now it's running very happy with it. We've also got one on the bridge port, so we'll go and have a look at that. So this is the one on the bridge port. Now, you would have seen a lot of these already. There's a, a lot of them starting to, to get around now. And as with the other, with the mini mill, as we just shown, you can have your head down concentrating on your work. You don't have to look up fumbling for the old original lever that used to be here. And, and when you want to drop the machine into back gear, your hand just traces up the top of the wheel. And we're in back gear, you don't have to go searching for a lever. So, no, but I found these very good, uh, very good for sensitive work, and uh, no complaints. So we've just got a 5mm hole to drill, ream, and a 60 degree counter sink. used to go on the small end of this part here. So we've got our quill wheel on and I'll tell you what, when I did the other one it gives it a really nice feel. So we'll crank up the mill. That's so much easier, so comfortable. Now yeah, originally I wasn't quite sure of them and I had seen quite a few getting around so it's, uh, I am one for keeping a machine traditional too with the lever, I don't like modifying too much but um, this, yeah, I don't think I'd go back to a lever, not in a hurry anyway. Maybe if some jobs you might get an oddball job and they didn't clear or something like that, but the feel you get over that lever is phenomenal. So we'll countersink this hole. And like, it's not in the way, I just slipped her into back gear then. Yeah.
Okay. Just put a ream through this hole. Now Jim uh, did ask me to give an honest opinion, a good trial out of the, on these sand wheels, so <coughs> this is pretty light work for it, but no, the, the extra feel you get is phenomenal for me. Beautiful. Completely different machine to operate. And it will be the odd occasion where your quill wheel does get quite close to the part you're machining. And there'll be times where it's just not going to clear. And if you happen to have a bit of a clearance issue as we have here with this clamp here, it's no big deal. It's just slacking off the wing nut and off it comes. So all in all, all being considered, my thoughts on these quill wheels. Well, I've had them for uh, some months now and given them a good trial out. We have a little one on the mini mill over there behind us. And really, I've had no problem whatsoever. Um, as I've mentioned before, you get really good feel and control over your quill movements with the wheel. Um, if it's in the way, as we've just seen, they just slip off. And it has the three pins on the back to drive it. Slips back on, and you're back in action again. But uh, Jim sent me these for a tryout, and I've given them a good, honest test. And apart, this is the first time I've had to remove the wheel for uh, clearance issues. And the only other time which I have removed it is when I've been filming. Now, not everybody's filming and YouTubing what they're doing, so that would be the only other occasion that I have removed it. But all in all, I think they're a, a, a good thing. Uh, 